Hello there gamers, Gondor here, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill. Last time... Ooh, I hear a gunshot. But, before we go and investigate it, last time, we met some crazy woman who told us about the darkness and Flauros and that she knew that Harry was looking for the girl. So, yeah, but this time, we are in Alcamela Hospital. We heard a gunshot, so why don't we try and investigate it and see what we can find. Hold it! Stop! Don't shoot! Wait! I'm not here to fight. My name is Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. Thank God. Another human being. Do you work here? I'm Dr. Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. So maybe you can tell me what's going on. I really can't say. I was taking a nap in the staff room. When I woke up, it was like this. Everyone seems to have disappeared. And it's snowing out, this time of year. Something's gone seriously wrong. Did you see those monsters? Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? You and I both know creatures like that don't exist. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. She's only seven. Short, black hair. She's missing. I'm sorry. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's... <sighs> sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you. Your wife, she's here with you. She died four years ago. Now it's just me and my daughter. I see. I'm sorry. Well, I'd better be going. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. So long. Good luck out there. Okay, so that was Dr. Michael Kaufman, a doctor who works at the Alcamela Hospital. Seems alright. <clears throat> nothing unusual. Alright, nothing much in here, and uh, we don't have a map for this place yet, we still need to find it. So let's go and see if we can find the map, if I can find the map. So what's this place? Nothing helpful. Hmm, this is probably where they store all of their chemicals, no doubt. This is a whiteboard, nothing special. Oh, hello, what do we got here? A newspaper. And this article's been clipped out. Hmm. Very strange. Looks like someone doesn't want us figuring out things. Now, this is the one reason why I'm not a big fan of Alcamel Hospital. It's just this bit at the start. Is that... You're trying to find the map. You know, and... It can be kind of annoying. Because I can't remember where the map is. But once we do get the map, then everything will be okay. Oh, look at that. That's right there. Kind of annoying that they don't... Oh, that's the hospital basement map. Oh, great. So we need to find another map. Oh, boy. So, yeah, that's... um. But I do suppose that's what does kind of make Sand Hill slightly more scary because you have no idea where the hell you're going. You know? So you have to spend ages looking for the map. But we will take the basement key. And yeah, so that's what makes it even more scary. You know, you get no map whatsoever. Yep, phone's out so we can't get a dial tone. Well, I'm pretty sure that we'll find the cause of all of this sooner or later. 
but so far even Dr. Michael Kaufman doesn't know where Cheryl is. But it seems that that crazy woman knows something. If we're lucky, maybe we can find her again. A plastic bottle, yes, we, we will take it now. Picking up the plastic bottle, remember how that I told you about the various endings? Well, you need the plastic bottle to actually carry something in order to help you get the good ending. Of course, if you don't want to get the good ending, then don't bother picking up the plastic ball. Excuse me. Hmm, what do we have here? A glass vial lies shard. It's not just broken, it looks smashed on purpose. Well, now when I first played this game, I had no idea what this red liquid was for. And then it wasn't until I, I actually looked this up and I found out that you actually need to use the plastic bottle on this red liquid. The remaining liquid is emptied into the plastic bottle. So we have unknown liquid, red liquid found in the, a broken vial in the hospital director's room. So yeah, we need this red liquid if you want to get the good ending. Okay. Obviously, if you don't want to get the good ending, then you can just completely ignore the red liquid. Right, well that was the basement key. Can we use the... Okay, right, so the lift doesn't appear to be working. Alright, well let's go into the basement. Since we actually do have a map for this place. Right. Oh, there's something here. Oh, it's a cockroach. Oh, you stop munching out your feet, why don't you? Yeah, then we'll stop these cockroaches. So much for them being fast things. Right, where do we want to go first? Yeah, why not? Let's head to the morgue. Oh, you guys are lucky, it's jammed. Alright, what about this place? Oh, I was jammed as well. Alright, so the generator room and the boiler room. And also the lift. Okay. The in-house generator powers elevators, ICUs, and operating rooms only. Yep, we will gladly activate it as that will probably put power to the left. Now, what's in this one? And this was jammed. God, you can hear it. Alright, uh, well, you know what? Before I actually do take the left, Let's head back upstairs, because I do have a feeling I've missed the map. And we can at least get back to the left here. Yeah, I could have taken the left back up, but yeah, whatever. Right, and we went through this door to get around. So we'll need to take this way back through. Uh, I can't remember what door we came in. Oh look, there's the map right there. I see it. Alright, so we're going to have to go around into this door. There we go. Huh? Oh yeah, I don't think we've actually been in this room yet. Okay, yeah, there we go. There we go, now we can find out exactly where we're going to be going. And we'll take the first aid kit as well while we're at it. Okay, so let's see, let's see where we've been. Right. So we still need to go into the toilets, but we can't get through that way. So we can go back through the examination room and then head down maybe.
Right, and it's out this way again, I think. Yep. Then we'll turn this way. Okay, that's jammed, so we can't go down that way. And then heading up and along will take us to the waiting room. Okay, oh yeah, so this will be this bit. Alright, so that's the way back out. Okay. Should've known. Right, so... Now we can head back to the left. So, yeah, we'll let you go through the medicine room. Wait, hold on, is there anything in there? Nope, just making sure, because this is a hospital after all, so there's bound to be some uh, health drinks and first aid kits lying around somewhere. Alright, so we need to go to the left. Now that we've powered it up. Right, so this is the first floor. How many floors are there? Two. Three. Right, so there's three floors. Okay. And the only way to get to these higher floors right now is to use the lift. Okay. Right, so what's this door? That's jammed. This is absolutely nothing. Yep. Nothing. So we need to go back into to the left and probably go up to floor three. Right, nothing around there. Hmm, that's jammed as well. That's pretty strange. Let's go back into the left and see what, what else we can do. Oh, there's a hidden floor four. Why don't we explore that? looks like that we just had a vision of someone going into a little shop but now we don't have a map for this place and it looks like we're now in the demonic hospital so we're just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way and search every the hell oh great locked great someone seriously doesn't want me to leave All right. So yeah, let's just check all the doors and see what we can do. Yep, oh, they're all jammed. Right, this is the, the last door. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, of course, no wonder I can't use... What? Damn it! But yeah, no wonder I can't use the map on this place because I don't have a map for the fourth floor. I've only got it for basement in, the, in floors one, two and three. Oh boy, that's a bit scary. Oh well, let's just go back down the stairs then. Okay, there we go. Right, so there we are. So we can probably get to the rooms from here. Right, and I can go down the stairs from here. Yep. God, that music. Listen. Now these things, these uh, creatures are quite famous throughout the Silent Hill games. 
these uh, demonic nurses. So yeah, since we're in the hospital, we will be encountering these things. Oh, hello. Plate of turtle. Alright. What the hell? Okay, I will admit, even though that I've played this game a hell of a long time, that bit always scares me. Even though, you know, it's one of those scares that you know that's coming up, but for that brief moment, you forget about it. And then, it just comes to you just like that. Oh boy. Anyway, let's go check out the, the rooms. That, I'm at room 301. Okay, these are short rooms, so I don't really have to explore much. Bird cage, it's empty. Alright, nothing in here. I don't know why that any patients would be al allowed to keep a bird cage in their room. That's the linen room. I think we'll go there later once we've explored all these other rooms. Yeah, well, there's a save point right there. Alright, it's one of those things where they put liquid. Oh, hello. Shotgun shells, yes, I will gladly take those. I don't know, I don't know what they call them, I think it's IVs or something. Whoa, that's kind of creepy. That, I don't know if I'll be able to show it again. Let's turn the camera if I can. No, damn it, it's not going to work. It, it's just that the wall a bit here just kind of looked warped. You know, it kind of looked like it was shaking. Okay, well that one's jammed. This one's open. And there's something in here. It's a demonic noise. There you go, we actually get to kick one. Yay! Alright, oh good, health drink. Awesome. Even though it's a demonic hospital, they still do their purpose by giving me health items. A steel plate is screwed to the wall. Okay, well, we'll definitely have to come back here later. So let's remember what room it's in. Room, oh well, there we go. It's the big room. Video. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a... A video player in that room. Just let me go check, just for a minute. What room was it? Room 302. So we'll pass this one, back into this one. Yeah. VCR, old but usable, yeah. Because we actually get a video sometime later in, in the game, and I think we actually need to come back here, and we and if we remember, we can go ahead and put the video in the video player, and we can see what's on it. You don't have to, it doesn't have any effect on the story or the ending, but it just kind of lets you know a bit about what's going on. Right, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's... Okay, good. So we can at least uh, go in between these areas now. Right. And this one's the storage. Yep, so we'll enter the storage. God, there's that music. Ugh. You would think that there was some kind of fan spinning. Empty bottles. Oh good, there's a health kit. I'm sorry, but I just can't help it when that music is just so... Well, I wouldn't really call that music. Oh, a blood pack. Yes, we will definitely need that. And that lock's jammed. Alright, so let's go into room 305. Right, well there's the nurse, I can see her. Oh, well that door's jammed, so... Oh, great, there's two of them. You know, for someone who's never used a gun before, Harry, you're certainly getting better. 
But just don't make a habit of all this killing, you know? But these are demons, so you should get away with it. Even though if this actually happened to you in real life and uh, you were caught doing it, and then you, then your ex excuse was, uh, oh, I was just killing demons. Yeah, I don't think you would get away with it. But anyway, we've got ourselves a plate of cat. We'll definitely need it for later. That log's jammed. And what about this one? That's unlocked. Okay, so now we can go through there. Alright, so... I suppose next time we can take the left and head down to floor 2. So yeah, I think that's what we will do in the next video. So, I will see you guys then.